What's up guys, Mr. Lee Redman here, back with episode 13 of the Unemployment Challenge. I've now played the next 11 games with Shamrock Rovers. So let's go straight into the fixtures to see how we've done. Uh, as you guys remember, I lost the last two games of the first section. We start off well though, as you can see a 5-2 home win against Longford. James Chambers puts 1-0 up from the penalty spot in the third minute. However, a Pauly Quinn equalised for Longford just four minutes later. Thankfully, Pat Sullivan then scored a penalty in the 20th minute. Thomas Laird, Chambers doubled his tally to make it 3-1. And we went into halftime 3-1 up. Four minutes into the second half, Niall Scullion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Niall Scullion put us 4-1 up through with an own goal. 15 minutes ago, Howdy Quinn scored again for Longford to make it 4-2. But Marvin Johnson made it 5 with just 5 minutes to go to give us a 3 points. It's 13 shots to 10 in my favour. I had 7 on target to their 4, but they had 51% possession. We lost 2 now home to Cork. Dennis Bahan in the 17th minute. And then Scott McBride in on the half hour mark giving Cork the, t the 2 goals to give him the, f the 3 points. 12 shots to 11 in Cork's favour. They had 5 on target to my 3. And they had 57% possession. We then drew no no at Derry. Uh, Pat Sullivan did get sent off for us on the arrow mark. Uh, two yellow cards in 9 minutes annoyingly. But we were able to hold on to take a point from a decent Derry side. Even though as you can see we were all over them. 10 shots to 6 in my favour. I had 6 shots on target to their 2. But they had 59% possession. We then took a break from that to go and play the Senior Challenge Cup where we went to Malahide United and won 4-1. Paul Dunphy put us 1-0 up in the 35th minute and we went into halftime 1-0 up. However, Trevor Murphy pulled one back from Malahide to make it 1-1 with just 32 minutes to go. Thankfully, we were only level for 3 minutes when John Tambu made it 2-1 to us. 2 minutes later, Sean Thornton made it 3 and then James Chambers with 8 minutes to go made the game safe and put us through to the third round. 12 shots to 7 in my favour. I had 5 on target to their 2. And 53% possession. Followed that up with a 3-0 win against my former club, Salt Hill. Paul Dunphy put us 1-0 up in the 34th minute. He then made it 2-0 7 minutes later. And we were 2-0 up at, at half time. Marvin Johnson got a second goal in two games. Uh, in the 63rd minute to make it 3-0 and to make the point safe. 12 shots to 9 in my favour. We had 6 shots each on target. And they had 53% possession. We then lost our derby against St. Patrick's, which was live on the TV. Keith Tracy put St. Patrick's 1-0 up in the third minute. Marvin Johnson equalised for us, though. But 8 minutes before half-time, Tracy got his second of the game to make it 2-1. And then Kai Wilson made a 3-1 on the stroke of half-time to put St. Pat's in the commanding position. Tracy then completed his hat-trick in the second half to make it 4-1. 60 seconds later, however, James Chambers did pull one back first, but it was to no avail as we weren't able to get any more points out of the game, any more goals, and reluctantly lost to St. Pat's in the derby game. 16 shots to 9 to St. Pat's favour, and they had 9 on shot target to my 2, and they had 58% possession. We, for some reason, had a friend against Cherry Orchard, and I have to admit I'm not too sure why. Um... I know they're obviously they're one of our was it feeder club is that it? feeder club parent club I don't know one of them obviously because of the fact they're in blue um, there is a gap there I've just noticed a month long gap I'm not too sure why uh, but we uh, had a friendly 1-1 one -one. goal scorer was John Tumber when they went back to league action and won 2 0 Bray Paul Dunphy again scoring against his old club 23rd minute to pass, 1 0 up, and then just 8 minutes later to make it 2. We went into half time 2 0 up. Thankfully, we held on to it in the second half to uh, get the 3 points. 8 shots to 3 in my favour. I had 4 on target to their 2, and 56% possession. We then followed that up with a 2 1 away win at Longford. Paul Dunphy put us 1 up in the second minute. Paddy Quinn pulled one back for him just 2 minutes later. On the half hour mark, Pat Sullivan missed a penalty. But thankfully, Lee Tolan put through his own net in the 65th minute to give us a 2 1 lead. And that's how it stayed to give us a very valuable 3 points. 13 shots to 10 in my favour. They had 6 on target to my 5, and I had 52% possession. 
Winner made of three wins out of three by beating bottom of the table Shelbourne at home. John Tambay put him through in his own net to give Shelbourne the lead after just 15 minutes. And we were 1-0 down at half time. However, I went overload at half time. Paul Dunphy pretty much pulled us back level within two minutes. And then just 12 minutes later, Sean Thornton made it 2-1 to give us the three points. John Tambo was also injured in this game, but we held on to take the three points. 16 shots to six in my favour. I had eight on target to their one, and they had 52% possession. We have followed that up with a 2-1 win at Bohemians. Paul Dunphy put Shamrock 1-0 up in the 11th minute. Uh, Pat Sullivan made it 2 just before the hour mark. And Gary Sheehan made it a dodgy last 10 minutes by pulling one back. But we held on to take another 3 points and make it 4 wins out of 4. 22 shots to 11 in my favour. I had 10 on target to their 4 and 55% possession. We drew 1-1 one -one at top of the table Dundalk. Dunphy put us 1-0 up in the 19th minute and we were 1-0 up at half time. Jack Jeb equalised for us, uh, equalised for Dundalk, sorry, just two minutes before the hour mark, but we held on to take a point at the league leaders. 18 shots to 8 in their favour, they had 10 on target to my 2, they had 57% possession, so to come away with a point, that's pretty decent. However, we messed up our last game, losing 2 0 at home to Limerick. Alan Maloney put them 1 up in the 11th minute, and Richie Ryan made it 2 just 60 seconds later and uh, gave them a free point. 12 shots to 11 in their favour. They had 5 on target to my 4, and they had 51% possession. So that's how f that's how it uh, end went, guys. So I won 6 games, drew 2, and lost 2. That's wrong. Ah, that's not right. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, and then you've got Sligo who will blow me on 19. And you've got Derry on 20 and some Pats and Dundalk on 18 and 19. So it's going to be a little interesting what it's going to look like when the fixtures are actually back level. Which I think will be in a couple of games time. I'm not actually too sure. So it's not going too badly. As you also saw we've got Athlon in the cup third round away as well. So hopefully we've got a chance of getting something there. So that would be nice to get through to the quarters. I know they want me to get to the quarters, so hopefully we'll do that. Um, Premier Division stats-wise, Dunphy is still leading goal scorer uh, with 17 to clear of Paddy Quinn. And he is still second with average rating of 7.44. So uh, that's it for this section, guys. Leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. would appreciate it all. Tune in next time for an end-of-season review. Do we make it into Europe? But here's to hoping we do. And we'll see how we do in the cup as well. But until then, guys, as always, take your study.